days ago, we got asked by a supporter of our YouTube channel. You know who you are. We appreciate you. We got asked to do a stop sleeping on Russell, well, Russell Gage rather video. And quite frankly, I think uh, that individual is right. It's about time we stop sleeping on a guy like Russell Gage. But before we get into the reasons why, make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. Helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all, the, uh, appreciate all the support you guys have done for us. We are almost at 100 subscribers. Make sure you guys keep clicking that subscribe button. We're almost there. Um, we deeply appreciate it. So, Russell Gage, a little bit of a background for you uh, on my main man. Uh, by the way, went to Redemptorist High School, but we'll get into that in a second. A former three-star recruit uh, committed to LSU in January 29th of 2014. Uh, once again, went to Redemptorist High School. That is by far the coolest high school name I think I've ever heard of, and that's not even close. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, uh, once again, a three-star recruit came out six foot, buck seventy-five. Definitely looked the, looked the part uh, of a wide receiver, and uh, formerly of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, by the way. Um, and came out uh, his his uh, freshman year rather as a uh, a DB, which was kind of shocking when you consider the fact this man is a uh, wide receiver in the NFL. But there's some continuity between the positions, so you kind of get it really. Uh, but as a freshman, played in one game, uh, and uh, then he came back as a sophomore. Didn't play in any, but this is where you start to see the versatility with this guy. Came back as a junior, a true junior that is, and played in seven games, caught five passes for 62 yards. If I remember correctly, it was all against Texas A&M. Can't remember, uh, but I believe that's who it was against. Anywho, um, came back his senior year, or excuse me, junior year, and really showed something. Uh, uh, I was right the first time. Senior year, that is. 28 carries, uh, as, once again, as a wide receiver, 28 carries for 232 yards, including 8.3 yards per carry and a touchdown. Uh, was even better in the past game, 21 catches, 285 yards and three touchdowns, 13.6 yards per catch. Big play guy, you loved what you saw and knew he was probably going to be that athletic, uh, multiple facet athlete in the NFL. Has not disappointed in the, uh, as of yet um, when you consider the fact, you know, his rookie year came, came out and caught six passes uh, for 63 yards. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those things where when you're a rookie wide receiver in the NFL, you got a good quarterback, you're just trying to build that rapport, and I could see that, uh, especially being the case with Gage. You know he was going to be something special. He just needed to, time to develop. He's kind of a late bloomer, kind of like Daniil Hunter uh, for the Vikings, who also went to uh, LSU, coincidentally enough, um, uh, you know. and uh, ended up uh, being a uh, kind of a reliable target his second year in the NFL, caught uh, – Played in 16 games, starting four, caught 49 passes for 446 yards, 9.1 yards per catch, also scored a touchdown. Um, again, a guy that you you saw heating up, and it, sometimes it just takes a while. Stefan Diggs, it took him a while before he was the number one wide receiver, um, especially for these these young players to learn the route tree, learn the playbook, and just learn that, get that rapport with that quarterback, their starting quarterback. And he's certainly done that because this year came out in bald. Came out and balled. I mean, you talk about a guy number two in his team in terms of catches. Uh, and uh, quite honestly, you just loved what you saw because he really came out, caught 72 passes for 786 yards and four touchdowns. Uh, it led, again, second on the team in receiving uh, receiving yards and receptions. Uh, and uh, was, I believe, off my top of my head, third in touchdowns uh, behind Kelvin Ridley and Hayden Hurst. Um, he even beat a guy like Julio Jones. Now, I know Julio Jones has been in, was injured quite a bit this season, but stop it. Stop it. Give this man the respect he deserves. He clearly deserves it. Uh, and I feel absolutely nothing but but awful for a guy like Julio Jones because he, he this was the first year in which he had, what was it? Uh, I didn't have 1,000 yards in like six. Come on. First non-1,000 yard season in six seasons. Just stop it. C clearly a Hall of Famer, going to be a Hall of Famer. Don't care what any of you say. I'll have this debate with anybody. Uh, as well as Calvin Ridley. Who's, uh, if, you, if we look at the big three here, Calvin Ridley, not... Let me take that back. Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, and then Russell Gage from top one to three. I think that is arguably the best one through three wide receiver group of the NFL. I think it's in the conversation. Now, maybe there's some, you know, I mean, you talk about, you know, Tyreek Hill, McCall, McCall Hardman, even though uh, Travis Kelsey is a tight end. Doesn't matter. I think you could probably make some kind of different uh, assumptions and arguments there, but doesn't matter. This wide receiver group is something special, especially with the emergence of Russell Gage. Um, he has, he was fantastic in his third year in the NFL, and I, I, I expect nothing less of him uh, coming out again this year. I think he's going to be fantastic. Hayden Hurst was another guy. They, get, they even got a tight end help this year, 56 catches for 571 yards and six touchdowns, second on the team. This Truly a special player. Uh, and, and they have, a, if you ask me, I think they have at least one special player in all facets of the, uh, uh, all facets of the game here. You, and again, you consider Matt Ryan. 
You know, Todd Gurley's still got something left in the tank. One through three wide receivers, if they can just learn to play with the lead. Sorry, sorry, Falcons fans. I, I don't mean to rip a scab off. I'm a Vikings fan. I know how it feels. So, um, but let's stop sleeping on Russell Gage. I think he could be in line for his first 1,000-yard receiving season in 2021. Uh, and maybe uh, maybe be in that you know five to eight touchdown range. But I think he could definitely see a guy that's going to get the ball more and possibly, possibly get a 1,000 receiving yards. We'll have to see. But uh, you love what you see in him, uh, even though Julio, I hope he's days around because I love Julio for sure Hall of Famer can't have that debate with anybody Uh, but let me know what you guys think um, uh, about Russell Gage and the Falcons receiving core I think they're fantastic Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe down below if you have any comments or anything you'd like us to bring up make sure you guys submit those to the sports bp at yahoo.com that's our email we'll be glad to uh, go ahead and bring that up um, it's got a sheer uh, real quick. Uh, Tim Tebow back to the Broncos in 2021. That would be fantastic. I don't care what anybody says. That would be fantastic. Oh, can you imagine? I mean, that would just be so fun. Uh, I love Tim Tebow. I, I've read his book three times through my eyes. Love that book. Love Tim Tebow. Um, certainly think he should be back uh, in the NFL. I don't know. Maybe people say as a fullback. Stop disrespecting that man. You you got to love Tim Tebow as a person. Um, maybe, who knows? Maybe did not have all the intangibles as a quarterback, but you just absolutely love Tim Tebow. Uh, I, I know you're messing around, my man, but no, I absolutely love Tim Tebow. Uh, he has will always, always have a special place in my heart, uh, especially I've read his book three times. He's To me, he's one of the greatest college quarterbacks of all time, and I don't think that's even a debate. So um, anyway, we're going to get out of here. Let me know what you guys think about Russell Gage uh, in terms of what he could be, what he is right now uh, in that wide receiver group for the Atlanta Falcons. I think it's going to be special. So make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. We're almost at 100 uh, subscribers. We're almost there. Help us out, man. We definitely appreciate it. So have a great night. Uh, And have a great rest of your week, everybody.